don't you um, can, as you join, go ahead and um, open up that chat box and hit the two field for all the panelists and attendees and share where you're coming from, where you're joining us from today. We'll be starting in just a minute, but it's great to have you here. Looks like we've got um, quite a few people on. Why don't you um, open up your chat box? That's the best way to reach me during um, the presentation. If you've got questions, you can put them in the Q&A box. Um, we've got people joining from everywhere, Philippines, Malaysia, from India. Good morning, Vijay. And um, we we're gonna start in just a minute make sure when you, um, if you have a question or anything, hit the two, in the two field in that chat box, you can pull, it's a pull down menu and you uh, will want to share with all panelists and attendees so that everybody can see where you're coming from. Um, it's great to have you on. We're gonna start in just a moment, um, right at the top of the hour. Um, it looks like people are joining from some pretty exotic places, which is wonderful to see. Um, I am in the United States at the moment um, in Texas. So um, it is warm here, but not lovely. Um, so many of you are in places that are lovely at the moment, and that is a great thing. We're gonna go ahead and get started now. Um, this is the uh, information session on the postgraduate diploma in leadership. Um, I um, am one of the professors um, and course leaders who helps you navigate through this course. I um, teach a course on organizational change and leadership in times of change. And um, I have loved every minute of it and I think my students have as well. Um, so just some basic logistics on Zoom before we get in uh, too far. If you can't hear anything, um, I guess at this point, if you are not a Zoom expert in this COVID world, um, you've probably been living under a rock. But having said that, every now and again, you hit a new problem you haven't come up against. So if you can't hear anything, just make sure your audio settings are correct. Um, if you find the group chat distracting, you can turn it off. Um, just make sure that you hit the um, chat button or the Q&A button if you wanna get me a question or um, a comment um, to me, since we've turned the speakers off to, uh, to make it easy for you all to hear me and that there isn't any extraneous noise. Um, so here's our agenda today. Um, I'm gonna sort of introduce you to uh, the, this, myself and then the faculty. I'll we'll talk a little bit about emeritus as a whole, and then we'll dive deep into the, um, the diploma in leadership and what that's all about um, and, and what's involved in that diploma. We'll talk a little bit about the modules and webinars that are associated with that. Um, I'll share the application deadlines and then take any questions. Um, so let's begin. Um, I'm Melissa Norcross and I am a course leader here at Emeritus. Emeritus, as I said, I often lead a course around um, organizational change and leadership. Um, I have enjoyed it so much and find that each time I go through the course, I learn another level of things. And I'm also a practitioner. So I am, um, a consultant and a strategy leader for an actual real company. So I not only um, study this stuff, I actually practice it. And so like you, I'm navigating these changes 
as we're going through them. I'm applying them in the real world and I'm really testing them. And that's one of the things you get with Emeritus is you get people like me. Um, you not only get the experts in the field, which I'll share with you in a minute, but you get people like me to help bridge that gap and figure out how to apply it, how to get better at it, how to really take things to the next level and use them in the real world while you're learning. And that's really what all of this is about, getting better at your day job, getting better at your own performance, your own leadership, um, and showing up better. Um, the, the good news about this is that the way we've set it up, it allows you to hear not secondhand from someone who studied it alone, but from the people who developed the concepts. Um, folks like Marshall Goldsmith, who's on the faculty at Tuck, Adam Galinsky, who's at Columbia, um, John Van Manen at MIT, and the late Catherine Phillips, also from Columbia. Um, people that you wouldn't necessarily have access to, and their recorded sessions allow you to sort of hear it from the source from the people who really developed the thought leadership and set the standard in the field. Um, I know John Van Manen in particular um, really created an entirely new way of looking at leadership and management and has a as a sociologist who came into the leadership and management field, what he was able to do is look at things very, very differently. And being able to hear that directly from him and get his direct perspective makes a lot of difference. And frankly, they're fabulous teachers that you wouldn't have access to um, in any other way. In addition, what we do is we pull from some of the world's best business schools, um, the Sloan School um, and the MIT Management Education School, Columbia and Tuck. Um, as you see, the professors come from there. I uh, studied at MIT and Harvard. Um, it, the people that you and the instructors that you get access to, as well as the content, is the world's leading content. Um, and it's more importantly, as a pragmatist and a practitioner, um, one of the things I love about this course is that it's designed for not only completion, but practical education. So it's designed for application. It's not meant to be sort of academic exercises that aren't useful in the real world. What we have intentionally done is designed a program that allows you to layer on levels of learning, apply them right away, and leave not just with concepts, but with skills and tools. So think about it like we fill up your toolbox we let you practice on them in some fairly safe environments. We design every activity, every resource, every moment in the course is really focused on equipping you to show up better in your everyday life. And there aren't any wasted, you know, what, what we used to call, you know, paper drills, right? There's, there's nothing that's not designed for your learning um, and there's no useless exercises. Instead, what we do is we really layer on level by level to your learning. We take that content, we let you play with it with your peer group, hear how others are applying it, test it out in your own organization. Think about it in the uh, um, a controlled real world in both case studies and in simulations. And then we make it so that it's bite-sized, right? It fits into your life in a way that many things don't. Um, and and it fits into your life because there are, the videos are small. You can you can learn for five minutes in a given hour or the whole hour or anything in between. You can get interrupted. And um, what you'll find is that they're engaging enough things that you'll find that 
as I have when I'm watching some of the videos from the coursework or reading some of the cases, other family members, my, my cohort um, at work, um, find themselves sucked in um, because it's engaging content. It's relevant, not just to me, but to everybody else. And I find my spouse um, get sucked in um, and he'll say, oh, what's that you're reading? What's that you're doing? And I'll, I'll be able to explain it to him and we'll find very quickly he's wanting to engage with that or my colleague at work is wanting to, to sort of find out more. Um, and I think that's a testament to to how um, almost addictive it can be. It sort of sucks you in and it's designed not to weed you out, but to skill you up and suck you in. Um, and um, it is, um, it, it's approachable content um, that is at a high caliber and that's a tough balance to strike. A little bit about emeritus, I just sort of, so that you, have some context. Um, as I've said, we partner with the best universities online, but we ser we have served more than 60,000 students from across the world um, in every major continent. I'm not sure about Antarctica, but most other major continents um, we have students from, and they're people like you who are learners, who are looking to to upskill themselves and take their own performance to that next level. Um, and they're interested in talking to peers who can, um, who are trying to do the same thing. So the good news is you leave this program, not just with the content, but with a group of peers who are equally committed to, um, to sh showing up in a better way. So let's talk a little bit about the program. Um, so here's how it works. Um, everything is online. It's easy to get to the platform. I am not a tech person as my, um, as my IT people will attest. However, I find it easy to navigate. So I figure if, it's, um, if it works for me, it can work for anybody. Um, you'll be online about two to four hours of learning worth every week. Some of it will be um, sort of offline thinking and thinking about how it applies, but a lot of it is online and you can look at the videos. It's easy to pull them up on your phone. It's easy to pull them up on your laptop. You don't have to set aside three hours at a given time to get through this. Um, but you can, if that's the way you work best, it gives you that kind of flexibility. In addition, there's live web webinars like the one we're doing today, video lectures, graded assignments, and, um, and someone um, like me to sort of help you get through the content and give you examples and fresh approaches. So my students have the ability to not only have access to the online platform, but they have access to me. And um, I still stay in touch with many of my students who reach out to me for um, advice, for uh, perspective on things, um, questions about, you know, I'm now doing this in a different organization. How might I do this? Um, and um, th those are great. Um, so there was a question someone asked about independent study sessions. Um, and the question was, are these independent study sessions or does it involve interacting in groups or networking with other students? The answer is yes. It is for the, the majority of it is independent, but there are curated times and opportunities to engage with other students as well. So we strike that balance between giving you the flexibility to do things on your own 
and allowing you in a very convenient way to take advantage of the scale and size of having all of those peers to learn with. So for example, um, this week I have a networking session with one of my active classes um, and they get to know each other. They um, get to talk about the topics from the class and um, there's discussion boards that allows you to engage with one another asynchronously. So you're not tied to a particular time of day and you can interact with uh, folks as well. And so we try and stage it so that you get the best of both of those worlds. Um, the typical size of the classes um, are, they vary greatly. Um, you can, um, if we have a larger class, we'll divide them into sections, um, but you can expect at least 30 people in a class. And um, what you'll get is that you'll get the ability to, it, it will feel like, and this is what I really like about it, it will feel like you have the advantage of scale because even as the classes get bigger, um, you will still have access to those people, but we'll divide them into sections so that you also have the advantage of really getting to know other people um, and doing the interaction with um, other people at a much deeper level and getting to know them and their organizations. Um, the live webinars are every week or two, um, depending on the point at which you are in the program and what other things are going on. So um, for example, the week that I give um, uh, the simulation exercise, because um, you're sort of interacting with that a lot, I um, split the difference by giving, um, giving folks the ability to uh, reach out to me asynchronously if they want, but their live um, sessions are really spent uh, on the simulation. The other thing to uh, that I want you all to remember is that we understand life happens, especially in COVID with different time zones. I mean, your boss can come in as mine does at times with a last minute emergency project that can sort of shift your whole day sideways. Um, every webinar is in every live session is recorded um, so that you can, for two reasons. One, so that if something has happened and you aren't able to join for the whole time, you can go back and watch it. Um, and second, if there's a spot that, you know, you wanted to revisit later on, you think, ah, oh, what was that? You can go back at any time. The slides, the sessions, they're all recorded and posted on your learning platform so that you don't have to um, lose out by not being there directly and you can engage as fully as you want at any given moment. Um, and not worry about having to screen capture and record locally and try and take notes rapidly and copiously. You can always go back and revisit it. Um, and that's one of the things that I've appreciated because, you know, like everybody else, you listen with one set of ears the first time because you have a certain perspective. Um, but then, you know, three weeks later, you might find a new problem that lands on your desk that you realize, ah, I think something was mentioned there. I didn't think it was relevant at that time, but now it really is. And I'd like to go remember what that was, but it's not reflected in my notes because that's not what I was listening for at the time. Um, so you can go back and revisit that. Um, and, um, and, and sort of capture those things. So you have the opportunity to, for live sessions, once every week or two, depending on where you are in the class, um, but those live sessions are also available in a recorded manner in case um, you need to get access to them. So, um, 
in addition, the program as a whole takes about six months um, and from beginning to end. And you'll traverse through a bunch of different um, concepts. In that entire program, you'll have 220 video lectures that, as I said, you can watch anytime, 30 assignments, 20 case studies. And these are really um, helpful because I don't know about you, but you know, learning a concept is one thing, but figuring out how to navigate a complex and messy real world with it is a different thing entirely. And the case studies allow you that bridge. It allows you a simplified version of reality that is not yours. So you're not as close to it. And so you have the benefit of that outside perspective, or as Heifetz would say, you have the ability to sort of get up on the dance floor and look at things from a distance and really understand what's going on. There'll be 16 um, discussions um 10 webinars um that are scheduled and that number can be a little bit higher if the class asks for it so sometimes my class will say ah oh, we'd really like to talk more about this and i'll schedule another webinar or networking session three role playing a simulation a capstone project and you'll also have the ability to get 360 degree feedback um, during the course which allows you to be reflective um, and think about what it is you personally want to grow at it is a holistic approach to leadership um, and what how you go through this is, um, you know, if I were to think about the content in the course, it's about evaluating your own leadership strengths. That's where we start with that 360 feedback. And then you migrate to enhancing decision making skills, managing teams better, leveraging social connection, and leading through change. All of those sort of come together to help you show up better as a leader um, and understand where you where you want to make shifts. In terms of um, the curriculum, we have some great case studies. There's one on um, speed ventures. There's a kidney transplant case that focuses on ethics and leadership, persuasion and influence, you know, all of those things that are so easy um, in the real world. And this allows you to sort of look at it from somebody else's perspective and situation. There's um, the ACME case study um, allows you to unpack different ways of looking at the organization and navigating and leading change. Um, there's an aerospace case study that um, talks about the power structure in an organization and how to use your network and navigate through relationships and networks to affect change and to really understand the power dynamics. The Silicon Kate Systems case study um, is also a really good one. Um, and it talks about sort of the practical ability of developing and leveraging networks. And um, the Elizabeth Parker case study um, is in a manufacturing facility that um, a, a company with multiple manufacturing facilities with a, a protagonist who's really um, challenged by leading change in a very complex environment um, with a pretty high level mandate, um, which really allows you to think through, frankly, many of the change challenges we have. Um, the learning platform um, is taught um, is looks just like this. Okay, I've got one question. I just want to get to it. Um, the the diploma actually comes from Emeritus, which is this consortium, um, and it is um, so it'll say Emeritus on it, and we'll show you at the end kind of what it looks like. 
Um, so in your learning platform, this will be available to you for that entire six months and then extends beyond the end. Um, in the Q&A, um, we'll have um, the program support folks who handle all the technical access will be able to share how long that platform you'll continue to have access to, but it's well beyond the end of the course. I think it's six months, but it could be longer. Um, but that learning platform is there and will stay there um, throughout your entire learning journey um, and beyond so that you have access to all of the content. And you'll see there's videos, your videos will be here. Everything is literally here and it makes it easy to navigate. And trust me when I say, if I, it's easy to navigate for me, it's easy to navigate for anyone. Um, and it makes it so easy to engage with all of the content because it's just right there. And more importantly than that, should you ever have trouble, we have these fabulous program support people who are available online all the time um, and are really responsive and they can fix a problem in the blink of an eye. Um, even if it's a user error. Um, so the curriculum um, finishes off with a capstone project. And this um, capstone assignment um, gives you the opportunity to work in groups um, and to bring together um, those kinds of um, all of the learning um, into a single project and focus and really pull from the entire course and you can um, you can close that out um, and bring it all together. Um, the I've had the certificate, um, Redmi is asking um, what certificate this comes from. Let me move forward and just deal with that. As you'll see, um, this is what your certificate looks like. It actually comes from Emeritus in a collaboration with these three universities. Um, and that's how it shows up. Um, and that's how we're architected as an organization. I think that should help answer that question. So your capstone assignments um, is really a chance to bring everything together from um, every aspect of the course and um, bring it all together and practice before you head back out into your current day job. Um, the PGDL grading um, participants um, like you will um, will have a um, uh, grades from each of their uh, assignments that'll be posted on the platform. Um, you'll get a course cram transcript with the GPA. Um, and uh, past participants, this is what the profile looks like. Um, as you can see, every industry, every um, geography, um, and every level of tenure, we tend to see folks just starting their careers all the way to 25 years um, into the entire um, into the career. And so that's a great thing for you because um, you know you not only get people with different amounts of tenure, but at different age groups. And so you get the benefit of all of that as you're coming together um, on that. But it's you've got a great deal of experience to pull from from your peers as well. So um, here is the application details. Um, you have to submit a completed application form, uh, a current resume, and a proof um, of a diploma or degree in any field of study um, with your highest submission. All candidates, you, 
have to either have their bachelor's or other similar degrees. Um, course fees can be paid in two or three parts. Um, and we want to make sure that you can capture all of the learning. So we'll also ask for confirmation that you're fluent enough in English that you can make good use of the course. So there's a bunch of different um, ways to verify that as it's so international, we want to make sure that you have the ability to communicate with all of your peers. Um, and that's sort of how we establish that. The program fees are um, $3,000. Um, there are several payment options. You can either pay it up front, you can pay it in two or three installments, and the program itself will begin on the 10th of February and the application deadline is the 8th of February. Um, so that's sort of the logistics of all of it. And the certificate looks just like this, um, as I've shared before. In addition, once you um, finish the course, you will have access going forward to the Emeritus Network and, that, and to the platform on a going forward basis. Um, that allows you to connect with everyone else. These other 66,000 uh, participants in emeritus programs worldwide. And there's a, a place to connect with other folks who are looking to start new businesses, do new things, or show up better in their existing um, organizations. So at this point, let me take questions. Um, let's see, any other questions that we haven't answered? Anything else that, and you can put it either in the Q&A box or the chat box. I just wanna make sure that you have the ability to ask anything that you'd like. Uh, for how long will students have access to the learning material, including videos after completion of the program? Um, program support, I'm gonna let you answer that um, question because I'm pretty sure it's six months to a year, but I'm not exactly sure. So let me confirm that. Um, I'm looking through, how is this different from a certificate issued by Tuck or MIT? I think um, it, the program itself is run by Emeritus in collaboration with, um, with these three universities. And so it is not issued by those universities and Therefore, um, it, it's issued by Emeritus. I guess I'm not, maybe I'm not understanding your question um, as well as I should be. Um, the, the three universities that come together to collaborate on this provide all of the content, but because the content comes from each of the different universities in aggregate, Emeritus has brought that together. So the certificate will come from Emeritus because if it were to come from Talk, for example, it wouldn't have the content from MIT and um, Columbia and vice versa. So. It comes from Emeritus because it contains content from all three of them. Maybe that helps. Um, and access is provided just, um, we got confirmation um, from everyone from in program support that you will have access to the platform for a year um, after you complete, access to the course for a year after you complete the content. Um, um, if you have work experience in English, um, I had one more question on the English front. 
So I think you see, um, if you worked in any English speaking country or in English for 24 months, um, it shouldn't be a problem that works for establishing your, um, your fluency in English. Um, and um, that will allow you to uh, establish that you're fluent in English and therefore won't have any problems with the course. Basically, you shouldn't need to take a test. And if there's any questions or any issues with that, um, feel free to reach out to program support on the application. There's a place for, to get help. Um, and they can help you navigate that hurdle. It's not meant to be um, a barrier so much as just a way to establish that um, you'll be able to navigate the course successfully. Um, and that's all. And so, you know, there's like 12 different ways to establish your abilities in English. Um, and um, that's really all they're looking to do. It's not meant to be a, an entrance exam or a barrier of any kind. They didn't make me take a test, um, but because I had lived and worked in an English speaking country um, for most of my career, um, it was not a problem. Um, and that was really all, all you have to, to do. Um, so, it, is the certificate from Emeritus acceptable in multinational companies? Yes, um, as always, it depends on what, you're, what you want to do with it, but many companies will accept this as um, part of the, um, their learning platform and program. Um, and you should have, um, you know, if you have other questions about what's reimbursable and other kinds of things, it's generally um, acceptable, um, but you can reach out to your own companies just to confirm anything you need to. Um, the course fee someone asked, I'll just show that again, is $3,000 um, for the entire six month program, all of the simulations, access to the network um, going forward in perpetuity, but access to the courses itself themselves and the program um, themselves for a year beyond, um, beyond the end of the course. And the application deadline um, for the program is the 8th of February, so you still have a week or so, but just in case there's glitches, I would say go ahead and um, apply sooner rather than later. Um, and then we, um, I want to make sure um, Training fees can be paid in installments in either two or three um, installments. The application fee is um, $50 and this is the some options for payments. Okay, so I, um, I think that's all the questions for today. Um, I just want to make sure that you are aware. Um, you can click on this link to apply now or head over to the um, Emeritus platform and follow the links. We'll put the link to the application in the um, chat box. If we could have program support do that, that'd be great um, in case you um, want access. And the presentation program support will provide. Um, I don't have the ability to reach out electronically, but I'm sure they can, um, they can do that.
anything, any other questions? Okay, program support, you're gonna have to re-put the link in. Um, we've got the, you can start your application here, but um, we didn't get the actual link. So here, I'm gonna put it in. This is what it will look like when you click the link. And here's the link itself. Okay, so um, you can follow that link. I'd like to thank all of you for being here. If you need any other information, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you can ask questions. Um, just put the in, if you go into the apply now, um, and then if you need help, you can click on get help there. Thank you very much for joining us today. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you all in the program.